everyone and welcome back to my paranormal romance obsession series and we are still talking about Sookie Stackhouse series which is by author Charlene Harris and better known as HBO's True Blood which I wish that series could have gone on forever I loved it so if you're a fan of this kind of thing please keep watching so today we're going to talk about book seven and eight. Book seven is All Together Dead. Don't you just love those color covers? The colors and everything in these just really draw you to them. All right, so number seven is Louisiana cocktail waitress Sookie Stackhouse has her hands full dealing with every sort of undead and paranormal creature imaginable. And after being betrayed by her longtime vampire love, Sookie must not only deal with a new man in her life, the shapeshifter Quinn, but also contend with the long-planned vampire summit. The summit is a tense situation. The vampire queen of Louisiana is in a precarious position, her power base weakening by hurricane damage to New Orleans. And there are some vamps who who would like to finish what nature started. Soon, Suki must decide what, sti what side she'll stand with. And her choice may mean the difference between survival and all-out catastrophe. And with HBO's launching of an all-new show, True Blood, based on the Southern Vampire novels, and demand for Charlene Harris and Suki Stackhouse is bigger than ever. The next book we're going to talk about is number eight in the series, From Dead to Worse. And that says, after the natural disaster of Hurricane Katrina and the man-made explosion at the Vampire Summit, everyone human and otherwise is stressed, including Louisiana cocktail waitress Sookie Stackhouse, who is trying to cope with the fact that her boyfriend Quinn has gone missing. It's clear that things are changing whether the wares and vamps of the corner of her corner of Louisiana like it or not. And Sookie, friend of friend to the pack and blood bonded to Eric Northman, leader of the local vampire community, is caught up in the changes. In the ensuing battle, Sookie faces danger, death, and once more betrayal by someone she loves. And when the fur has finished flying and the cold blood finished flowing, her world will be ever altered. I really do recommend this series so highly. I love it. It's been a while since I read it, to tell you the truth, and I do need to um, start over with the series and read the whole thing in, you know, one giant leap there. So this is books seven and eight of the Sookie Stackhouse series, and if you like this kind of thing, please give me a thumbs up, and if you want to, please share it. That always helps us. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.